satellites do play an important part in aircraft in reconnaissance of hurricanes, but you have to look inside the storm to get the correct data. The data collected by the citizen airman, the 4-3rd wing, increases the accuracy of the hurricane center forecast by 30%. Can you imagine if that uh, warning area was increased by 30%? All the locations across the Gulf Coast would have to evacuate at a cost of a million dollars per mile. So if we can narrow that uh, warning area down by 30%, that is saving lots of money. We can pay for an entire budget of the, of the program just in one flight with a hurricane thunder inside the flight. Satellites look at, at the storm, but you have to look inside the storm. It's much like if you look at a medical simile, uh, you would, a, a satellite is, is like an x-ray. If you were to have a tumor and the, you took an x-ray, the doctor could tell you, yes, there's a tumor there, but he can't tell you if it's a malignant. But if you take a biopsy of that tumor, then you can determine what it is. That's much like what it is in comparison to satellites and uh, flying hurricane reconnaissance in a storm. The hurricane hunters are the biopsy of that storm. When we fly into the hurricane eye, we'll typically make about four passes through the eye of the storm. The data we collect is sent directly to the hurricane scene via satellite communication as we continuously fly through the storm. When we fly through the storm, we're continuously measuring the surface winds of the storm, their magnitude, also around the aircraft and their altitude. We're, we're continuously measuring the storm, sampling the air 70 times per second. Hurricane eye operations are done by the 4-3rd wing, which is an Air Force Reserve wing. And these citizen airmen that fly into these storms uh, will uh, take what they call an alpha pattern. It's kind of an X-shaped pattern across the storm, which bisects the storm to get a complete picture of what's going on, continuously collecting data from a 105-mile uh, point uh, from the eye to the eye and then 105 miles out again. Then we come back and make an X pattern. Uh, the, the flights typically last anywhere from uh, 10 to 12 hours, so you think that these citizen airmen are uh, serving uh, on a, if you took the pre-flight to the whole flight, about 15 hours. Uh, so it, it, it is uh, very time-consuming, but life-saving data that is directly sent to the National Hurricane Center.